AI generated voices made in Eleven Labs here don't always include pauses when they should. For example, listen to this. Give me one second to think about it. Yes, that would work. Clearly, there should have been a pause here between sentences, which Eleven Labs didn't add. But by using this piece of code here and changing this bit to the duration of the pause we want, we now get a voiceover that sounds like this. Give me one second to think about it. Yes, that would work. Beginners normally make the mistake of adding maybe a few periods or even a hyphen to get a pause, which can leave your voiceover with unnatural sounding pauses or strange changes in tone either side of the pause. But by switching over to using this advanced technique, you'll get AI voiceovers that you can quickly add to your content with natural sounding pauses. But even though you sorted your pauses, Eleven Labs can still be pretty bad at inserting emotion into AI voices. To fix that, if you look here, you can see that Eleven Labs recommends that we write our sentences like we would write a book if we want to accurately get the correct emotion. So let me show you how that works now. And by the way, if you want to use Eleven Labs at any point, there's a link to try it for free in the description to this video. So let's start by listening to this line. That is funny. Not really as expressive as I'd want, but if we follow Eleven Labs tips and add this to the end, give this a listen. That is funny. Just with that small change, that line's now being said much more expressively like we wanted. And here's another example for if we wanted anger. Are you sure about that? Writing out the emotions this way, just like we would if we were writing a book, gets us the actual result we want. And then once we've downloaded this voice file, we just edit this last part out when we're applying it to whatever it's being used for. One quick bonus tip for you, you can click advanced up here and play with stability from 50% to 100% and also style exaggeration from zero to 50%. You get slight variations in the voices that are generated if you just feel like you need to fine tweak the output to get the exact emotion that you're after. So now we know advanced tips for getting human sounding pauses and emotions in the text to speech that we type in to Eleven Labs. We're only getting those results in the language that we actually type into Eleven Labs. People that speak other languages can't understand what we're making. But there's a final advanced tip we can use in Eleven Labs to fix that problem too. We're just going to click down here into the dubbing studio, add a video and tell Eleven Labs what language we want that video translated into. And Eleven Labs is going to translate the voice, not the subtitles, the actual voice in the video to any of these languages that you can see here. Diese vier fortgeschrittenen Tipps werden Sie 99% vorausbringen. These four advanced tips are going to put you ahead of 99% of the other people using Eleven Labs at a beginner level. There's a link to try Eleven Labs out for free in the description to this video, so make sure to give that a go. And if you don't want to use the pre-made AI voices when you're doing text speech in Eleven Labs, you actually want to use your own voice, a clone of your voice. I've made a tutorial on how to do that right there, so give that a watch next and subscribe to this channel for more AI tips for video creators like this one.